let's go ahead and create some stickers together today using Midjourney, which is now my favorite AI tool for images. So the last time I did a tutorial, we made a sticker sheet together on accident because I had a typo. So today we're going to do it on purpose without typos. I don't know, I might still make typos, but that could be like a fun way to learn how to use the AI tool better and find some new designs. Now, I do have two resources for you if you are into making stickers. One is the full page hack for Cricut. I will leave a link to that below. There's also a free Photoshop file I give you. The second thing I have for you is if you join Planner Pixies, you get Sticker Camp. So I was gonna sell Sticker Camp last year as a standalone course. I never got around to it. Instead, I just created it as a full workshop and it is free to anyone inside of Planner Pixies, as well as sticker templates that you can go ahead and use today. So I will leave a link to Planner Pixies below as well. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create pretty pages using Adobe InDesign and using Canva and today using Midjourney. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below and post new videos every Tuesday or extra videos like today because I am so excited about stickers and clearly I'm really more excited about the AI Midjourney tool than I thought because this is like the second or third video I've made this week that wasn't even scheduled. So there are three ways to get Midjourney to make sticker sheets for you. The first one is to simply, I'll show you the typo, is to use the word elements inside of your prompt. So this is cat design elements for a planner and this is what I got. I really think these are super cute. Um, you can also do images one by one. So over here, uh, I uploaded an image. This is the second way. You can upload an image that you already like. Uh, this is a drawing I had made for Card Deck Academy, which is coming out later this year. Uh, and I just asked it to take that image and do it in a blue style. Um, I also asked it to take that image and do it in Pixar style. Then I also asked that to do that image and take it into, make it into clip art, which came out a little odd, I'll be honest, but this one has really cute items in there that I would consider totally sellable for a sticker set. Now, when I use the PR again, it did not have the same great results that it did before. Um, this is kind of interesting. I don't know what it is. It looks like a mock-up of a tin, but I thought it was cute. The rest of them are watches, so. Not really what I wanted. Now, this was interesting. I tried to, well, oh, this is, I keep using the word interesting, but I uploaded this image and it would not recreate it. I kept getting this image uh, cancellation um, due to a filter. It violated community standard guidelines. I'm really not sure what that was. I tried it twice because I clearly didn't believe it the first time. I thought maybe it was one of my words, but it's the actual image. Um, this image though created really cute uh, fashion illustrations. So these could be individual images. And then over here, um, I asked it to do fashion Im images again, exact same prompt, got totally different things. Uh, so I really, really like the ability to make individual ones as well that are cute. This one says Pixar. I tried that PR again. Clearly PR is like a watch of some type kind that it, that's what it thinks it is. Um, and I asked it to upgrade one of those images from above. Then I uploaded this image and I got, I asked it to redo it in blue. I got some weird results. Um, I really like this top one, but that's kind of it. Uh, this one, I don't know why, again, when I said Pixar, it turned that character into a grandma, uh, not too attractive uh, the way those came out. Um, and then this one over here, uh, Again, it was interesting how they just kind of stuck some air buds in there. I would never think to, there is a command to like not to exclude items. I would never think to exclude AirPods or earbuds from here. Um, and again, we have the watch. Now I've always been a fan of the Bloom Daily stickers. So I uploaded that image and then this is what I got. Not exactly usable, uh, it's a cute picture. Uh, so I also tried the PR, again, I've gotten the watch, the headphones. Um, so I tried another uh, Bloom Daily stickers image and I tried fashion illustration and basically it just took those images, kind of used them as background and gave me a fashion illustration of a woman. Uh, and same thing when I did the Pixar. So these aren't really usable for stickers. So then I switched gears and I simply just said, give me some colorful productivity icons. So this is another thing you can ask for. You can ask it to just give you icons. So we have elements, 
we have icons. Um, and then over here, I asked for clip art. So clip art actually came out pretty well. You can use these. They aren't really my style or anything I like. Um, and then I kind of switched gears over to um, a card deck. <laughs> so, and I asked it to do it in blue, and then I asked it just to make card decks over here. Um, and then I asked it to do cyberpunk. So let's go over those three methods again, because I didn't give you the third one. Uh, so let me give you that one first. So the third one is you can use that tool I mentioned before, which is the mid journey, oops, which is the tool that I just closed. That's the prompt helper. So over here, you kind of just describe what you want. Um, and let's say we can go down here and we can choose styles. So maybe for styles, I'm going to choose, I already chose anime. Um, so maybe, do I like any of these others? Futuristic. That sounds kind of cool. Uh, materials, I'm going to say glass. I don't know what that'll do. And for quality, I'll say more detailed. Uh, version, I will say, I think four, Niji. I don't know what Niji is. Let's try Niji and see what happens. Uh, and then for chaos, I think it goes one, chaos number is 100. So I guess we can do 50, see how that goes. And stylize, um, okay, that doesn't work for there. And for colors, we could try to pick hot pink. And we're gonna, all we have to do is hit copy prompt, and then we can go back to Discord and we can simply paste that in, hit the return button and wait. All right, so I'm not really a fan of what this made. Maybe this top right one was okay. I did a small upgrade. Um, I also tried doing like sugar paper brand. It clearly has never heard of sugar paper. Not even sure what this is. Um, and then over here, I switched over to just doing cute cats and because they're futuristic, they're wearing helmets. Um, they're not really cute. This kind of looks like something Canva would create. Um, so I went back to just saying kittens drinking chocolate milkshake together in a 1950s diner. Uh, again, wasn't really happy with this and the Pixar version doesn't look that great either. Um, and then I did some puppies playing the park which are actually kind of cute. Um, and then puppy elements. So you got some individual items there you could have for puppy stickers and you could actually do maybe some breeds. Uh, and then over here, I just did puppy elements. And again, the elements in the clip art will give you usually the best results for what sticker or what I think of as stickers, not the photorealistic versions. So how did I actually use an image? So let me show you this. So you're gonna go here and you're just gonna hit that plus sign and you're gonna say upload a file. And then you're gonna choose any file you want. So over here, these are all the ones um, that I made by hand for the Asian tarot card deck that's coming out later this year. Um, so if we just take any of these images and hit the return button, it's gonna upload this to us to the Discord server. So you're gonna right click that image after you do that, say copy link, and then after you copy the link, you're gonna go over here and you're gonna say imagine, and then you're gonna paste that link that you just copied, and you're gonna tell it like say in blue or whatever you want to do as a variation. All right, so not really happy with these blue images. Uh, I also tried it again with Pixar style. Again, I got a dude. Uh, so I switched over and I just said, do clip art elements. And I got sticker images. So that seems to be the magic word to get sticker sheet kind of quality items. Um, and then I tried it again with puppy and I said clip art elements and that's what I got. So let's recap. What were the three different methods I said to create sticker art using uh, mid journey? So the first one is simply to say, imagine whatever it is you want to imagine and then add the word clip art, add the word elements, add the word icons, any of those things in whatever style you want. And that's usually pretty good. As far as uploading images, so I uploaded this image, uh, didn't work out so great for me. This one actually worked out really good. And this is where I used the prompt. So that mid journey prompt, um, put in whatever you want, change those styles, uh, and then go ahead and say copy prompt, paste it back into Discord, and it will pop it out for you without you having to know all of the different words, like the double dots and the different weights that it gives things, uh, which version, the quality, the stylized, all of that stuff uh, is, again, I think 
something maybe the more you use it you'll get used to but if you're like me and you're just starting out you might forget what those are um so those are the three different ways to go ahead and try to create your own sticker images let me know if you have any questions below and link up to your sticker images if you have them uh, again if you forgot how to download any of these you can just right click and just say save image and then you can paste it into Photoshop or Canva or whatever tool that you're using. All right, so let's review those three different methods. The first one is you can upload an image, copy that link for that image, and then say, imagine, paste that link in and say in blue or anime or whatever other style you want, and it will come up with something. Um, you can also add the words elements, clip art, and clip art elements or icons and those usually give you a sticker sheet of kind of like different items okay these aren't it <laughs> this one is a good example and then the third way is you could actually go to the prompt helper and then pick out all your styles over here don't forget to word, add the word elements or clip art still again um, and then head back over to discord and put your prompt in over here and see what happens. All right, I hope that was helpful. And remember, if you would like to create and sell your own stickers, sign up for Planner Pixies because I have the Sticker Camp Workshop free included in your membership and I have sticker sheet templates ready to go for you. So, and they were not created with AI. They are original sticker art that you can use and there are no other copies out there. All right, I will talk to everyone later. Bye.